Hey guys, it's LackoXP here, and today I'm bringing you a 20-in-1 Search and Destroy gameplay on Black Ops. And, uh, this is my class. I am using a FAMAS Silence with an M1911 Semtex Concussion Grenades, C4s, and my perks are Ghost, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Ninja. Now today, I just showed you this class setup just to get a feeling about Black Ops 2, and that's exactly what I wanted to talk about today. And, um, I just want to start off with, uh, the customization that you're going to be able to have with that game. Um, I think it's pretty crazy how, like, all out they're going on the customization thing. Now, that's why exactly I put my class in the beginning, because this was the Call of Duty where you can pretty much customize so much more than you could in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and all those other CODs that have been out for the past couple years or past couple months. Now, I thought it was pretty wild how they made it where you could do the face paint, the, the suit, the weapons attachments, the, all the camos they had and everything and, and that that was crazy i mean there was a lot of customization in the reticle site colors the reticle site itself i mean everything and when you really think about it they got really creative with this and um i was really impressed when this game out came out with the amount of customization and i actually didn't even realize how much customization it had till later on in the game um so today, as I said before, I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 2, just a little bit. On this channel, I will be updating you on a good amount of commentary, and I will also be uploading Black Ops 2, uh, like, you know, information about it, so you guys can keep caught up on that. Now, first I want to say is, they're going to be bringing back customization to a whole nother level. Um, they're going to try and double or triple the amount of customization they did in Black Call of Duty Black Ops. And, um, they, I mean, I guess they thought it was a real hit because of just the amount of customization you could, like, have. And they really want the player to have the class they want. So, to start off, I'm gonna just tell you that I, this is a rumor which I'm pretty sure is true. There's no per, pro perks in Black Ops 2. Now, that was really interesting to me when I found that out because, you know, every, pretty much every Call of Duty has had pro perks besides COD 4 and World at War. And, um, Modern, ever since Modern Warfare 2, we've had pro perks. And, um, I'm kind of a little bit dis... I'm, I mean, I'm on the side. I'm on the edge of both of that because I do like... Pro perks. Um, pro perks can really help you, and they're also fun to earn sometimes. But I am kind of happy there isn't pro perks because I don't gotta earn them again. And it got really annoying having to earn the same perks over and over every time you just wanted the prestige. Um. Also, you're allowed to have like up to three attachments on your gun. Okay, but the the sacrifices. I think you lose a couple perks. I'm not for sure. Um, clearly the game is not done yet, but recently they were at Gamescom and stuff, and they and they had some players test it out, and I watched some of it, and uh, so far it looks pretty cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Black Ops maps, but kind of a battlefield type theme to it. Um, really, I mean, some people say differently, but that's my personal opinion. Now, some other things that you can do with customization, there's also going to be a lot of new equipment, and there's going to be things um, that you may have heard of lately, there's going to be shock grenades, which are some type of a concussion grenade that shocks you, and kind of can get your, like, I guess it can get your balance off a little bit. And, um, they also have some attachments on weapons where you can literally see through walls, um, there's... Uh, the red dot site, pretty much, where you could have red dot, red dot site, pretty much, like, anywhere. Um, they're also having a thing where you can see through smokes, grenades, like, let's put it this way. If you smoke in the middle of the map, if you threw a smoke grenade, you can pretty much still see. It's like having x-ray through smoke grenades and different kinds of concussion and flashbang grenades, which is pretty neat. And, um... The way they came up with the whole 2025 thing is also pretty cool because you got to think about it. At least they're bringing something new to the table. At least it's not something like Modern Warfare 3 where they completely half-assed it and it was Modern Warfare 2 Part 2. And um, I am pretty proud of that. Um, I know the game is obviously going to have some problems just like every other Call of Duty has. And, I mean, we're going to have to face it. We're never going to get a perfect Call of Duty. Um, and I mean, it may be perfect in your opinion, but I'm pretty sure it's not perfect in everyone's opinion. And, uh, I mean, you gotta just expect, you just gotta pray for the best that, I mean, it will be a good Call of Duty like this game was. And, um, next videos I will be talking more about the guns they're having in that game, the kill streak rewards, um, and the way the games are gonna be balancing out in the game modes. And there are a couple different new game modes. Apparently there is a new game mode where there's four teams of three people. I mean, it's kinda like 3v3 face-off, but it's like, it's 
like, I don't even know, it's 3v3, 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 3v3 face off. So, that's going to be pretty interesting to see. So, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and enjoyed me talking about this video. And I hope you guys uh, stay updated with me. Peace out, and I hope you guys enjoyed this.